This time you're ready to, uh, to add some other aspects to this uh, pond, like uh, boulders and a waterfall. If we go over to Landscape and we click on Rock, we have lots of rocks that uh, we can use in the, the construction of uh, the, uh, the perimeter of this pond. Now we can adjust the size of each of the rocks. We can uh, copy and paste rocks. We can melt rocks together. Um, we can uh, rotate them as well as required for around the pond. We can change their elevation. We can sink them down, make them look a little more realistic. And then if we go over to uh, Water Features, we click on Waterfalls, we'll open this up, we look under Waterfalls, we have uh, a number of uh, rock versions that we have here that you can use. Um, I tend to go for the smoother ones, but that could be a matter of, uh, of choice. So if I click on one of these, um, I can put it on top of the, just by changing the elevation of the rock, now the water will spill off of this rock right into the pond. So now let's uh, just add a few more landscape rocks here of different shapes. Keep it looking interesting. Bury them into the pond a bit is always nice. And increase the size a bit, reposition. And the other thing that we can do with water features, uh, we can do interesting things like jumping jets, which you could also use over by the swimming pool. And uh, we could also use, um, we can build a, a stream that goes into this pond. And that um, you can also remove the rock border for that as well. You can raise this so that the water falls into the pond. And there's so much, uh, so many options that you have. Now let's uh, just eliminate that little river there. And if we want to put in um, a little bit of a patio area around this or a sort of flagstone, we can do that by going over to our uh, building. We'll choose patio area again. We'll go into plan view and we'll start drawing here with our rounded spline tool. and. We'll follow along the perimeter of the pond here, and perhaps we want to go over to here and follow our kitchen here. We can do that. We can make our fine tuning later. We definitely want to change our materials to something that's maybe a little bit more natural looking. We'll go for the trevia in here. And we'll take a look at perspective how that all looks. Now we have, if it doesn't appear here like this, it's simply that your uh, your elevation needs to be raised a bit and to adjust around that pond. And there you have the uh, pond feature in place.